Let's go guys, we got another Age of Empires 4 game. In the color green, playing as the Rus. It's Certi. And in the color blue, playing as the Order of the Dragon, it's Louis MT. Welcome everybody to another casted game. Hope you're having a great week. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe to watch more Age of Empires 4 content. Got plenty of coming every single day. Let's get back to this match. Now we got the Rus against the Holy Order of the Dragon. I was about to say Holy Roman Empire. Uh, Order of the Dragon, a civilization is a little bit slow. The Rus is just such a good civilization to pick. Like, it's, it's just so safe to go for a second town center. You got the militia, you get very nice economic bonuses. Uh, you can get an early wheelbarrow at the beginning just to get some extra economic boost. Like, do, do not underestimate the early wheelbarrow. You should be having, uh, should be having it anytime soon. So it's, it's a civilization that it's it's really good on on late game. It's really good on, on early game. It's such a good one. And whereas the Order of Dragon is a, it's a little bit slow. They they have a lot of ways to play. I wonder what Louis is going to. I would uh, look at oh my god what why is the gold so far from the town center is this a starting goal for louis like usually you will see the gold yeah. at the front or at the back but not in the back of the base here um, and that's really unusual and uh, that's really unsafe because usually the starting gold is safe you know and especially when you play against the Rus, like they got those knights they're gonna go and hunt villagers you want them as close to the TC as possible. Otherwise, you know, you're just gonna lose them, man. I feel it's a little bit unfair, but anyway, you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you need to play with the cards you got. And, you know, it's a random element on Age of Empires 4. Some people argue that, you know, it's the. Uh, it's not very good because, you know, when you talk about like uh, in the professional level like the pro gamers they, they want to be judged based on entirely skill right they, they don't want to be judged like oh i lost this game because the spawn was bad or something and on the other hand uh, it's what makes aoe4 so unique it's just the fact that you know every match is different and uh, not every match is the same. Uh, li a little bit of a long distance <laughs> walking here. Uh, 30? It's everything alright? Uh, there you go. Looks like he was uh, a little bit lack lacking a little bit of food here. Went to gather some berries. But, you know, it's this element of randomness that makes Age of Empires 4 such an interesting game. Every single match is the is. I was gonna say, it's the same. It's not the same, you know? Different layouts, different maps, extremely different civilizations from each other. Like, it makes it so refreshing and so unique, and in a way that's part of its strength, is that no, every single situation, it's gonna be different. It's not gonna be a, a match that is like, oh, okay, like, it's the same every single time. This is the way I used to play it, and this is how I'm gonna win. And you need to adapt. So I get, the, I guess that's the, this is the key word here. It's adaptation, where you just, you know, uh, forget about long distance goal. That this, this one is uh, arguably worse. Uh, this one is far from the TC, and also in the front of the base. So anyway, um, you need to adapt. You need to adapt. The, sp the sheep spawn is not always the same, you know? You don't know, always know where where is the where are the sheep. So you, it's a little bit of luck, but also, in a way, it, you test yourself to to adapt to the situation that you, you, you are in at the same time. And that's what we see, and that's what is so exciting about these games, is that we always think about what is he gonna do next, because in every single situation, I, I like to see, I like to see this 
matches, when I watch an Age of Empires 4 match, I like to see them as stories, like what's the story here and what are they gonna do? But let's, let's get back to the game. Mining camp already here, currently very, very close to the stun. Should be able to get a second down center very safely. Not at the order of the dragon, he's not, he's just not gonna, he's just not really interested in getting aggression. He's just getting the stun here. Potentially can go for a third town center. We have seen it before. If it can be a, a, a little bit greedy, especially when it comes to the rules, uh, there is a door for you to become greedy if you want. If you want for want to go for a three town centers, uh, you know it's it actually a choice for you. So I don't know if we will see it this time. Looks like Louis just gather enough stone for outpost in placement so it's not gonna go for a second town center himself and definitely not interested in fighting at all he actually went for a main word palace but that's really not a good indicator that hey your opponent is gonna be aggressive just because the Akon chapel is just not that good uh, compared to the Holy Roman Empire, so it just makes sense to get those discounts on those upgrades that you're gonna need anyway. So it's still a very good upgrade, especially this Golden Curse. Uh, it's a, uh, it's quite good actually. It's really, really good. And we see the stable coming for a certainty. I'm gonna try to harass his opponent, but I believe Louis is already very safe. I already have a tower here. I'm gonna have the emplacement soon. Also, getting that boar early on. Just to, you know, it, this is not only about, you know, getting your food income really high, just because he has the boar, he has a lot of food income. It's also about denying the bounty for the ruse. Like, eventually they will get this boar, so you might as well get it before them. Yeah. See, Luis just need a little bit of more gold. It should be good to go. It should be going castle in a minute. Meanwhile, Certy just walling off this area. I, I like this. Just try to segment the map. If you're playing a little bit defensively, you don't have units to defend, you might as well put some walls just in case. But Louis already with enough income to get. The a -shop. it's gonna be the Ragnis Cathedral, we're not gonna see a burger rush here. But, you know, the burger rush is not pretty much the best landmark for the Holy Roman, sorry, the Order of the Dragon. I keep saying Holy Roman Emperor. It's not the best just because it's just not as good as the Holy Roman Empire. They don't produce as fast. Uh, it's actually a good thing because otherwise you're just gonna destroy your opponent with those super expensive units that are uh, if you can produce them really fast, then you're gonna overwhelm them very fast. And also they are very expensive, so I don't think you have the economy to do that. Meanwhile, Certi also macroing to go castle. Looks like his knight wasn't able to find any kind of value here. Let's just go back to the base, I believe. Somewhere around here. That, those, those are three scouts, so it's not it's not it's not the knight. Let's see, where is it? There you go. No, it's not. And anyway, uh, there you go. The knight is here. Just to make sure that villager finished the wall without issues. Talking about walls. There's another one coming here. Very big one. It's gonna be safe in his base. Not gonna go to wall the whole thing. Usually what you see players do is just wall this segment. Already have half of the map for you. You don't need to think about this side of the map where you have the stone and the gold. He's just gonna be safe in his base. I, I like I like to play like this sometimes. I feel like really safe. Like no one will come here. Like uh, I feel really really secure. And I notice I'm I'm kind of a, a a boomer. You know, I like to boom a lot. And I've been playing English recently. Like playing a lot of English just to get the fundamentals there, like practice a lot of English. I already got 100 games this season for the ranked ladder. So I've been learning a lot and 
while the English are very good for the fiddle push, you know. Uh, I, I like I like to play a little bit of a more economic game uh, if I can if, if my opponent allows me to go for a more economic game so wherever I have the chance I like to put the walls like this it's like I feel so safe in my little base here that's actually how I just play when I just first got the game when I was like I don't know maybe the broad sleek I just start the game not even feel all age like let's wall let's let's wall guys I, I don't want anyone come here I was so afraid I just wall the base like that and looks like the gilded knight will take care of it hey buddy like I am here so I don't think you can do anything about this big guy here Spearman already here so it looks like they're gonna have a good time against that Gilded Knight. He just need to go out, manage to take down the Knight, which is a nice pick for him. Already one really going up for Louis. Meanwhile, Serti not really in a position to age up just yet. He's so getting those economic upgrades first, has enough gold to do that. Louis gonna build an outpost here, just next to the deer pack. Unless it's gonna be two spearmen. It's not better than spearmen yet, so you gotta be careful here. And there is a unit that can potentially take down all of these units here. And it's the Lank Neck. Take a look at his move speed. Will Allah attempt to distract? Come on. Come on. Come on, Lank Neck. You can do this. Give me. Give me that AOE to those light units. A little spike to the ass here. Casual stuff you see here in Age of Empires. Meanwhile, I trade house. It's gonna be building the back of the base. Rushing it with 20 villagers. Gonna get those monks as soon as possible. Managed to get some hit here. Uh, those units were, uh, were damaged. Gotta love AOE damage. Well, torch damage for the Order of the Dragon is actually uh, very strong, actually. They, they torch buildings quite fast. Especially the Spearmen have the AoE upgrade where they can torch multiple buildings. Looks like the villagers won't be able to repair this wall. And with that, the little dream of having a wall next to you is just gonna... Uh, it's just not gonna happen unfortunately you can still attack those units if they are within the range of you know the range of the attack of the opponent even there is walls here um, you know I, I don't like that at all I, I think it shouldn't happen but at the same time it, does, it, it makes kind of sense like that actually doing AOE damage look at that it, dealing a lot of damage to those units. I love that. I love that. Meanwhile, why that is happening here? A gilded knight entered the base. Everyone, call the militia. Deal with this right now. And you know, this guy is just gonna be tanky. Has plus one range armor. Plenty of HP. 36 damage. You just need two hits to kill a villager. No textiles yet for Cerity. Looks like this knight is just gonna walk around, wait for the militia to go. Maybe try to find some other villagers. You don't wanna fight against here, eventually you will lose the knight. The wall, still destroyed. Wall low attempt, potentially will happen, but there is a monk here, so it's not gonna happen. Unfortunately, you cannot convert monks, their faith is too big for you. Nice to take down. Actually, Took down 11 villagers so far. Meanwhile, more villagers will go down here. 14 villagers in total. I, I, I'm not really sure where that raid happened, but I, I believe it, it was when we were looking at the Lankenet. That Gilded Knight is just gonna get so much value from here, especially when your opponent is in. 2t6 but don't mind me if you go 2t6 I have the Palaf of Swabia here printing villagers every 8 seconds 
Louis doing so much damage. Spearman gonna get converted here. It's like it's gonna betray his pulse. Louis actually going with the relic here. Didn't come back actually. This this they have been fighting for this relic for so long. Meanwhile, Certi is getting the farms there. Still plenty of gold here. Have one big gold bank. Another small one here and the one in front of his base. So he's still safe inside of his base. Has some deer pack. Uh, getting the boar. Another deer pack on the back. So at the same time, Louis actually putting some cannon emplacements. Uh, I wonder where. Let's take a look at his vision. So it's gonna be here. Cannon emplacements coming for the Order of the Dragon. And also. Veteran upgrade for horsemen. Probably we're gonna see elite upgrades for the horsemen. Not, let's take a look at his base. Not much production going on. Remember, he focused too much on aging up, so he needs some time to catch up with the economy. It's gonna be really soon, actually. Meanwhile, more farm transition. Now, Serity is actually gathering stone. Is it gonna be for a third town center just to catch up with his opponent? You know, he knows he can potentially have more villagers than him at any time soon. So he might as well think about going for a third town center just to catch up with the economy. I still it's gonna be behind, but not so far. He still has some advantage, although he lost 16 villagers. Now, Louis already have three relics here. Charity decapturing the sacred site in the north. Looks like he's gonna go for a keep here. Let's wonder where he will put it. Actually, the stun actually finished. Let's go for another one. Finds one here. Needs to put a little wall just in case. Prepare to deal with those things before it's too late. Another wall coming here. No, just to be sure. Just to be sure your, your economy is safe. You never know when these guys are gonna visit you. Still no elite upgrades yet. It's gonna take some time for Louis to catch up with the upgrade economy. But you still have some time for yourself. A raid going on here. It looks like... Is, is it that a spearman? What a brave guy. Monk against elite gilded horseman. That's 21 damage. I only have one upgrade. 360 health. So the, these guys are tanky as hell. Another guild, gilded horseman here. Just gonna have some horseman just so that you can use the gold for upgrades. Which is very good for you. You're gonna be careful here not to into that those spearman mass loses the horseman immediately meanwhile secret side victory approaching plus two range armor coming from louis plus two attack melee attack coming from serity while he's just working in his farm transition gonna have a keep in his base just in case something happens you, you never know what's going on let's take a look at his vision does he know what's going on he doesn't know about it Unfortunately, the wall didn't finish, but this is not a place where they can attack. Or they do? I don't think they, they can. At this point, you can just garrison those villagers here. You're gonna be able to deal quite decent damage to those gilded Lackenek. More walls coming here. Looks like the wall is gonna be finished. Walls being burned at both sides of the map, in the west and in the east. Meanwhile, another wall coming from Louis. It's gonna be a big one too. Secret site. Now let's see who wins this. Horseman with a prelate or a spearman. I was too optimistic. I was too optimistic here. now 30 
also going for the high armory in the back of his base. Now, if you if you have some snacks in your in your room, I highly recommend you grab some, get yourself a nice drink, some snacks, some whatever is it that you you want. Because I, I have a feeling this is this match is gonna take a while. Meanwhile, a stone walls coming from Louis here. Hi, Armory. Almost finish. Well, these walls have given Serity quite a long time to catch up with the tech department. Meanwhile, Elite Lankanet. Plus two. Plus two melee attack. Now, let's see. Uh, this is a fight I want to see. Let's take a look at this. Lankanet against those militia. That AoE damage is just gonna be so good. But they do quite a bit of damage, so they're, they're really squishy. Meanwhile, more Lankanet here. It's just gonna be Lankanet and Horseman. Meanwhile, we see a unit from Serity that I really like to see. It's the Horse Archer. And I've seen these Horse Archers lately, and they do insane amount of damage. Elite Spearman going up for Serity too. Meanwhile, here, another raid will happen. Louis is gonna just torch, torch the wooden fortress. No emplacements here, so looks like he's gonna go down. He will lose access to this gold. Economy department. Louis is already seen in a really good spot with all those upgrades, eco upgrades. And now you will see more imperial eco upgrades coming soon. It's because you can have some extra gold there. More raids happening, 20 villagers dead in this game. Now the good thing is this keep is just uh, working for him. It's uh, such a nice defense to have nearby your economy. Fortress gonna go down. More and more units coming here. Just sending, you know, horsemen here. I oh, gotta love the the Rus some track. If you don't like, if you're like me, like I really like video game OST and the Rus some track. I think it's one of the best in the game. As in the Imperial Age, when they are fighting, it's such an epic, epic soundtrack. And I know the sound of the game is a little bit low, just so that it doesn't conflict with the voice. But I'm just gonna shut up for a minute, try to crank up that volume. So good, so good. Anyway, we see two bombers already for Louis. One more here. Let's take a look at his base. Uh, let's take a look at his production. Nine barracks, seven stables, two siege workshops. Meanwhile, Serity, nine barracks, six archery range, one siege workshop, one stable. It looks like Louis is gonna go for the melee composition here. Well, Serity doing a really good job with those elite spearmen. Such, such a good unit to have. It's cheap, gets the job done. Good against cavalry. I mean, well, Sturdy are here. I'm gonna be careful not to lose those bombards. I have a feeling. I have a feeling he will lose them. At this point, I, I might just sacrifice the horseman. Exactly what he does. He sacrifices this horseman. Just so that the bombards don't go down and one of them goes down. Luckily for him, two of them still alive, but still uh, it's a huge loss. You don't want to lose a bombard. Three Magonels in queue for Louis. Springles coming up for Serity here. Looks like we already have a fight in the middle of the map. Meanwhile, more Gilded Horsemen. Now these guys have more upgrades. Biology already being researched. 
looks like, yeah. Plus 72 HP, that those guys have a, have a lot of health. Meanwhile, a quick wall here. Managed to put the wall before it's too late. But the emplacement for this outpost is already here. Also, fortified outpost coming here in the front of the base. Cerity stuck on his base for now. Meanwhile, Louis will just keep pushing with those units. A couple of Bombards, two Magonels, one more coming, and Lankenek. It's gonna be his choice. Still not gonna change his unit composition. Now, Cerity is forced to make those Spearmen. It's hard to, to see the rules not going for those Knights. They have really nice Knights. They have a nice, really good attack. They have one of the best Knights in the game. But they are forced to go in Spearman. Meanwhile, Lanknet here. Bombard also went out for Cerity. Gonna deal with that outpost. Let's take a look at Cerity's vision. We have some vision here. Still have some stone. Where Louis already ahead. Taking those resources here. He's, he, he's just gonna run out of gold here. Likely for him, still some gold here in the in the back of his base. I know the Magonos are just gonna deal so much damage. Cerity losing the bombard. Lankinet just not gonna be able to do damage against those Threadsy. Those Magnus are working quite good for him, but let's see if one single Lankanet can save them. Yeah, at least he saved one. Another one is gonna go down, indeed, it does go down. I've already three Sprinkles. No Sprinkles for Louis. You gotta be careful here, you don't want to lose the Sprinkle battle. I don't know if they have Royal Show triggers. Uh, I don't think they have. Bombards need to retreat. Horseman gonna flank these Springles. One Springle went down. A Stretzy. Just gonna do so much damage. 35 damage. Louis just gonna repair. He has a lot of villagers here. 146 villagers. He's just getting all the resources in the map. Let's take, let's count how many resources. 2.3, 2.1. 4.3 plus 1.7 like almost 6k resources for Louis meanwhile Certi is like 2k 3.5 5k over 1000 resources a minute difference between those two guys and Certi in a little bit of a trouble here already have 8 military units A look at his base. Beautiful base. Ah, I love when you have this kind of views in Age of Empires. Like you can just like the verticality here, like camera and everything. It's just so nice. Whereas if you go here, you you have a different kind of view. Looks like things are call for him now, but Louis still pumping those units. Let's take a look at his production. Still with 9 barracks. Gonna be pumping a lot. Right, he's gonna build a stone wall here. Meanwhile, secret site. Still 7 minutes left. This one should be pretty easy for Cerity to decap. He's gonna just make sure, have a wooden fortress here. Just to make sure you decap it. And now another attempt for Louis to try to cause some damage, but Cerity already create some units to defend, so they are very equal in military numbers. Battering Rams gonna just focusing on those farms. 
it's nothing worse that losing farms in the end game you need to play you know do your homework again and make those farms again especially if you already have a nice layout more fortified outposts here it's gonna be a town center just to make sure these outposts don't go down Meanwhile, more units going down. 40 villagers already went down for 30. But still, villager count looks really good for him. I keep it's gonna get built, gonna keep building more and more outposts here. I don't see a way for 30 to get back on the game. I mean he really needs a way to deal with these units. Horsemen are just gonna be so annoying just entering your base and dealing chaos and you need to deal with them otherwise they're just gonna kill your units. At this point I, I believe that a small little wall here is to force your opponent go to that to that keep and protect your villagers for a while but I don't think it's gonna work with those battering rams here. There's more and more rams burning the Ceratis base. couple of bombards for him gonna take down that key but emergency repairs gets called it's just not gonna be possible Meanwhile, well, Serity doing his best to protect the bombards tries to hack tries to hack them with with those spearmen and those stretchy you gotta be careful here not to leave them alone by a second this bombard it's vital here in order to get back into the game you need to take down that keep but the problem is Serity is running out of gold. Gold in the back. It's about to run out. Only 140 gold left. And the one that he has access to is just next to Louis' base. Well, the horseman will try to go for another raid here. By doing such a good, such a good unit for raiding, actually the gilded horseman, nice HP, decent damage. Meanwhile, Serti doing the best he can to defend. Unfortunately, emergency repairs will get called again for this outpost. Insufficient stone, but no worries, emergency repairs is there again. And looks like Serti will need more than one bombard to deal with this. Well, more raids going up in the back. Look at the damage here. 23 damage each for each horse, each attack for those horsemen. Well, battery ramps still continue to cause chaos into Ceratis base. A couple more bombards in production for Ceratis, which is exactly what he needs to take down this. Um, meanwhile, Lankanet already have the upgrade uh, at some bleed damage. But the number for Louis is just not high enough. I mean, he's getting those resources in the map. Almost no resources left. He's trading. He's already ready for trading. Already some traders here. 17 traders in total. And this gold, the last gold of the game. It's just gonna run out. It's gonna go for Louis. The problem is he has too many villagers. He cannot have a huge army to he kill his opponent. He's just trying to cause damage. Trying to get his trade going. Get, get all the resources. You know, take his time. Eventually, your opponent will run out of resources. And eventually, need to tap out. How do you get out of here? Another wall coming here, more outposts. Let's take a look at Louis' vision. He has vision on all the map here. And Lankinek just doing so much damage with just a few units. Estrell TL actually saving the day here. But Louis just keeps sending units. Let's take a look. All the rally points are here. Let's take a look at Serti. Just rally here. 
Gonna consider putting another wall here if those raids continue to happen. Just not gonna be possible to... To deal with the Lewis army. And it's a little bit of a tricky situation. Because even if you... If you even if you deal with the raids... Like... You don't have enough numbers to counter Louis army. But look at this. How many outposts you want? Okay, yes. Yes, sir. That's that's how many outposts we need here. It's, it feels just like Louis is eating Cerity alive. This is slow but steady. I'm getting all the territory gold still bunch of gold here left but I don't think it's gonna work for him. Cerity already trading resources. He's not selling wood. Meanwhile Lanknek does some decent damage here. Actually having blood here. And now the Mangonels come to the show. Or Mangonels. No, it's just gonna be at this point the only thing you have is spearman so it's just like that's all we need guys that's all we can afford we have plenty of food plenty of wood uh, there's this is a no-brainer like you know this just have a spearman bombard still dealing with those outposts but you need to deal with a big guy here otherwise it's just gonna be so hard to push into louis base are you gonna need more than Spearman to get into the Holy Roman Empire? <laughs> Sorry, the Order of the Dragon. Just, just because they have emergency repairs. You need to burn the buildings really fast. And now Magalol shots coming. Four Magalols, two culverines. More horsemen coming. At this point you're thinking, how, how do you finish the game? You go for a Sacred Side victory, which is exactly what Louis wants to do here. It's like... I can go for a landmark kill, or I can go for a sacred side victory. Or I can go for a wonder. I mean, there's plenty of wood left. And how many traders have? 30 traders already. It's gonna be sending those rams here. This is gonna be upgraded rams. Oh, the bomber just gonna be able to deal with those outposts. There's just so many. I, at this point, I feel like it's like trolling, you know. It's like I, you don't need that many outposts here. Mangonels. And I have to retreat. You don't want to lose those mangonels. I, I, I'm. I can't believe this back for the mangonel seal there. Like the ghost mangonel, they can they can fly. I mean, well, mangonel shots gonna happen never mind they just retreat mangle goes down three more left two left meanwhile outpost here monk are already in position no emplacements for this outpost so they're gonna be able to decapture the secret site quite easy meanwhile the lanknet army is here Am I gonna shot? Decent shot at all those spearmen. Now look at the Lankinet. It's just one second. That's all it takes for the Lankinet. To deal with that army. And now he's already pushing really hard. Bombards. Potentially coming, going down. Just a little bit HP. There's so many outposts here. Well, secret side victory not gonna happen for Louis. More and more rams coming. Let's take a look at his base. How many production? He says yes. Which is very good for the Order of the Dragon because their units just take so much time to produce. 
Like when you if they make a push and you fail, you lose so much momentum more than other civilizations. It's because you need a lot more time to get those units out. In what thirty? Dealing with those raids again. He went for a, another third town center here. How many town centers he has? I, mean, I think it's only two. It looks like the runs are just gonna cause some chaos here. It's gonna be rams only. At this point, you don't need army. It's like you have plenty of outposts, cannon emplacements. Nobody needs the, ra the, the army anymore. It's just static structures. Which reminds me of the Mongols, how scary they are in Imperial Age with infinite stone when they have their trade going. They just build outposts all over the place with the cannons and the lack of military units that they have is like you, you just can't, can't have cannons there. Battering ram goes down. Emergency repairs gets called again. He still cannot. Oh my god, look at this. He knows he knows it's a possibility for a sacred side victory here. You leave a little bit of gold, you know, just to make sure. Make you make you have make you think you have hope. Uh, in the in the backside, look at this trade. 87 gold. That's a lot of gold for Louis. Let's just look at this face. This is a classic Imperial Age time and looks like it's gonna switch. It's gonna be the hand cannon here. Have plenty of food coming. See how many villagers on food. 51. Have plenty of wood for 30. The problem is no gold for him. Just getting those relics. More ramps. Destroying production for 30. And now the big boy comes here. This is, I think, if there is a unit that can add this and this madness, it's just gonna be the mana arms. 8 range armor, 400 health, extra armor when it gets below 30% health, 90, 29 damage. Just gonna be mana arms and hand cannoneers. And I don't think Zerit is just gonna have many strats. See, these are. This cost a lot of gold, like 90 gold, which is exactly what you don't have now. Looks like Louis already deleted some villagers. At this. Bot King Bolts, kill the crossbowmen, deal. Plus 20 damage against siege units. And also, war horses. Looks like we're gonna be seeing the switch to Gilded Knights. Is this keep is gonna go down? I feel like no matter how many tries, it's like this skip just doesn't go down. Unless, I mean, Spearman is not really the best unit to deal with those guys. These are, these are your chats. It's a two meter um, super models. It's a little charge here, and the kid finally went down. I I'm sure Cerity is like gold. Please, I need gold. Uh, strangely enough, the Spearman numbers are actually holding here. But more and more military units are coming for Louis. Especially those rams are already 13 there in the base. It's gonna cause so much trouble. Another keep coming here. Militia gets called. I'm gonna be dealing with those villagers. But Louis is very safe in his base. He keeps sending units from all over the place. Rams are getting called by Cerity. Everything's gonna get burned here. Farms getting destroyed. 
And that that's a lot of villagers idle. Just try to deal with those farms. But the farm economy, I, I, I hate to to see it like when you lose your farm economy, it's like it's just really bad for you. And now the gilded man at arms are already here. You have enough gold to research spyglass. Let's take a look at Louis Vision. Better look at Ceretis Vision. A lot going on here. Just basically complete madness. Spearman, Streltsy, rams everywhere. Louis pushing Slova City into the base. Gilded Knights still, just, you know, just dancing here. Let's take a look at the dance. Look at that. Look at that. Check those move. Check check that move. Anyway, it's like enough dancing, guys. It's. Now the Gilded Knight actually taking a lot of damage from those Spearmen. At this point, you might think about change to Archers if you think about it. They have the best Archers in the game, probably. They have crazy range armor. And, you know, they, they're quite good. The problem is the wood. How much wood left? Still plenty of wood in the map. Don't need to worry about too much. Especially when you have this. That's a... Uh, that's like your backyard, you know. There's no way you can get here. Although those Atmos don't have really placements. You know. It's still have plenty of resources for Louis. And now it's the time where he just has less and less villagers. And he's just gonna push here. For that Gilded Knight. 552 health. Uh, I'd hate to see them go down, but you know. Man at arms, Lankenek combo. I, this is my favorite combo from the Order of the Dragon. It's just the Lankenek and the Man at arms. It's just the, the Man at arms will absorb the damage, and the Lankenek will do all the DPS. More Magonels here. More Rams coming here for Louis. I'm really curious about how Louis will win this. I mean, technically, uh, they they can. I mean, the Rus don't have infinite wood, so there will be a point where Spearman also run out. There's not much wood left. But then, how do you push into this base? I really, I'm really curious about how. Magnol shots. These are really tanky units, actually. 130 health, 156. If I were Louis, I will be thinking about a wonder victory. Like this, this is the thing. Uh, like wonders are actually viable. Let's take a look at how much they cost. The Great Palace. Just 5k resources each. I think you can do, but the, the thing is, you're still putting pressure on your opponent. How can you have enough economy for going for that wonder without your opponent actually going to attack you? Because if you stop producing those units, then, you know, it's just gonna be harder and harder for you to stop this push. And this is a really deadly combo, actually. If you think about it, Spim and Streltsy are really good. So, and so far it's been working for Serti. It's just having more and more Spearman. At this point, you need to take down the production, otherwise they're gonna keep going. And finally, Serti taps out. Amazing game by these two players showing how you can dominate and take map control.
and overwhelm your opponent.